Hey guys, it's Justy Taz Two Hundred One. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here with my friend SP Finisher One One Three, and today's build is dedicated to him and his clan on Advanced Warfare. So what his building is? It's a headquarters for his company. It's kind of like Atlas, but a good Atlas. It's a private military um, company. Right here is the main front. It has SP right there. You can look up. Make sure you stay tuned for the ending part. That's the best part. In here is his lobby that I worked on. I tried to make it really modern. I haven't built a skyscraper in a while, so I wanted to, you know, make this one more modern than ever as I've worked on in the past. So let's go on the next floor. Up here is the second floor lobby. It is pretty much... A lobby <laughs> and there's a coffee shop right here right there and there's bathrooms down there I'll show you one here's the usual stalls and I make my toilets different now so I don't have to put it on a platform like I used to every room is controlled with redstone lighting um, with the lever and the wall and that took additional time, but it was worth it because it made this more realistic. Up here is, I believe, the third floor. Yeah, and it pretty much is the floor for a ballroom. Well, it is the ballroom. And this is what made SP Finisher be like, wow, this is really modern and cool. So in here, let's go to the kitchen. Now, I wanted to do more of an industrial kitchen that they make, the hors d'oeuvres and all the fancy food. That's where they sit when they have their break. Darn doors. Now, on the Xbox One and all other consoles, we have uh, colored clay, and it makes builds more modern. It just makes them more smoother and realistic looking. Oh, yeah, before you move the next floor up here, I did a cool ceiling design. Make it look more modern. And it's actually an illusion. If you look up, you think the ceiling's going up. But it really isn't. So let's go to the next floor. Right here is a communications floor. This is office space for all people who are in charge of um, advertising or talking to like other companies. There's a few floors dedicated to it. I'll go inside a regular office for you. They're all different, though. In each office, every room in this building has a view of some sort. But if you're in the restroom, I can't guarantee that. You may only have a view of the sink or the wall. Okay, over here is one of the many conference rooms in this building. It's connected to the room that has all the uh, light switches in it for this floor. I won't go in there. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm going to go upstairs to the SP Finisher. Up here is the interviewing room, uh, situation room, as you call it. This is where he would inform the company or journalists, people, about what's going on. This is him making a speech right now in a sheep costume. <laughs> this is disguise. Here's an example of how the light switch works, of course. Very cool if one day you download the, the map and you want to play, like, PvP. You just come up here, turn off the lights, you hide, or somebody that play hide and go seek in the building. Up here is another floor for communications or of various other stuff you can do in the building. Excuse me. You know, there's a nice bathroom right here. My new toilet design. Right there. So we're gonna move on up. More office space, but for this office floor, this is SP Finisher's cousin's office, Kanor. Um, he's the VP of the company, as I said. And the upsell part of this place is there's a bathroom connected. So, there you go. You're connected to it. Yeah. Oh, oh, darn. <laughs> Over here, uh, filing George, if you're wondering what those are. 
up to this point, I was just going about and I was, uh, you know, going around just like building offices. Right here is the apartment, SP's apartment. We really like this. And this is one of the floors or two floors that took a long time for me to work on. This is his living room. It's like this is one of the coolest, I think, parts of the city right here. Let's go to the kitchen. Now for the kitchen, I chose to do a mo modern design. And um, it's the first time I've ever done something like this. With, and since we have clay now, it really, color clay anyways, it really makes it different, unique. And if you want more examples how to do kitchens, go to my friend's channel Forge on Forgebook. Uh, his name is Brent. He does a tutorial on how to uh, do various kind of kinds of kitchens. And they also do other stuff, and they're very funny. So go on there on Forgebook. I'll put them in the description and check out their stuff. They're really good. His city is awesome. Right here is the first floor kitchen connected, by the way. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Second floor. I sound like I was about to attack somebody. Um, right up here is his bar. Um, I did that. I don't know why. I don't know. Pretty cool. Um, up here is his bedroom. He really likes the backsplash that I put there. He thought it was really modern and has a view of everything. Let's go to this awesome, luxurious bathroom. Um, the new toilet right there. I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, I'm taking a shower. Somebody's going to stare at me. Yeah, that one kid is just going to look at me while I take a shower. No! Okay, from the ceiling, you hit a button, and you got to use your imagination here. Um, and you press a button of some sort, and like a, a curtain would come down, like a waterproof one, and you get your shower. But yeah, and you can roll it back up when you're done. But I just love the colored clay now. Like, this just makes everything look much more real. Now, on this floor right here, there's nothing here because SP's apartment took up another floor. Oh, <laughs> he's our hostess, I think, or host. Uh, city View Restaurant right here. This is the very modern restaurant that literally has a view of the city. These are just nice booths that I did in the McDonald's. I really like them, so I wanted to put them in here. This is right where uh, the your waiter or waitress would go to ring up your order as you eat. Well, hello. <laughs> Anyways, um, out here is outdoor eating. Yeah, it has a great view of the city. Rockefeller Center at the moment that I still gotta do a video on, but I haven't because I, I don't know why. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Great view of the Freedom Tower, must say. Great view of that. I didn't really even try to do that. <laughs> up here is the bar. An extra seating. Now right here is the VIP room, which has another great view. Hence the name of the restaurant, City View. And here's just the kitchen, the cutting board. Now we're going to move on up. Moving on up. Now, this is SP's uh, floor that he does conferences in, that he will be doing them um, if we ever do role plays in here. It's one of the coolest offices, I meant not offices, but conference rooms in the city, I think. We're going to keep moving on up. Oh yeah, stairs right here. Now the floor plans of this building is very different than what I've done. Um, I added a hang uh, a part where you can like you know look down. I forget what they call those though. Yeah, look down or something like that. In here is his office, and it's awesome. It has a great view of the city. It's higher up than a lot of the other floors. Here's his bathroom. Where he probably sings. Oh, he's, you know. Anyways, over here is where the secretary would sit. I'm just thinking of a name like Doris. Oh, let's go up even higher. Now the interview floor. This is so, like, Good Morning America style right here. So this is where he would sit and he'd be interviewed. 
I'm just waiting for him to jump. There he is. Okay. This is where you'd sit and you'd get interviewed. Like, I don't know, what's your favorite color? I don't know. Anyways, you're probably wondering what the uh, track was for, too. And that is for the camera, so it could do, like, certain movements like this. Wow. And right there is the white thing that would go over, like, on picture day at school. If you remember that, or if you still go to school. We're going to keep moving up. Now, for this floor, I really had no idea what to do, so I just left an observ observatory floor. It doesn't really matter. I still put something in it. And there's a bathroom over there. Now we're going to the f uh, roof, which is one of the coolest parts and the features about this building. Up here we have the ventilating systems and a lot of other stuff that I don't think anybody knows what it does and I would never know. And you got the solar panels up here. Now, another part that's really cool is a helicopter pad, which not many buildings have in the city, and it's cool that I could make a tall building like this have one and there's one right next to it. But, uh, yeah. Ice is a great thing to use for buildings because you can see outside better and just it's more natural lighting, I feel. Like in real life. So now the best part. Let's go uh, down to the bottom. It's very New York style down here. So as he'd be pulling up, you know, getting out of his limo, if he wants to get in the building secretly, he can go in that way, or he can go around the front, which is, this is kind of one of its first of its kind in the buildings I've done that has a thing like this, where you kind of like hotels. And as you would enter, you could look at which floor you would want to go to. And for people who download the world someday, you can go and uh, go right here, and you just see what floor you want to go to. It is a nice landscaping around here. And then the best part of the video is the fly around, of course, because people want to get inspired to build stuff like this. You want to build. Now, I didn't really measure how tall the building is, but I know it is the second tallest building, and it will stay that way. You can count the first side I showed you as a front or this side. They both look great. This building took about two weeks, if you're wondering. Because I put so much detail in it. As we go down. That's the main part. We got landscape right here. And it has the big SP right here. And that's the video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And... Peace and shout out. And go to my friend's channel, Forge Book. Check that out. Okay, bye.